why it's essential to your financial plan. It may seem intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. Don't get overwhelmed. Get started with Country Financial. Call me, Sean O'Quinn, today at 588-1051 and let me work with you to find life insurance that gives you the protection you need at a price you can afford. Life insurance policy is issued by Country Life Insurance Company and Country Investors Life Assurance Company, Bloomington, Illinois. The following is an exclusive presentation of Jessup Broadcasting, the sports leader in Southeast Georgia. World famous Butch and Bob Show. World famous Butch and Bob Show right here on WIFO 105.5 FM in Jessup. Two minutes after 8 o'clock here on this Monday morning, the 11th day of April. Good morning, Bob. How you doing? I'm good. You good? I'm good. All right. Well, we got some special guests in this morning. Who do we have, Bob? Turning Point Worship Center is here to talk about, I guess, Easter week and Easter service. We've got Pastor Justin Mitchell in and gang, so good to see y'all. So Hey, good to see y'all. Thank y'all for letting us hang out just for a few minutes with you this morning. Okay, yeah, you can just turn that to you there a little bit. There you go, Pastor. Awesome. All right, tell us what's going on at uh, Turning Point. Hey, we've got some incredible things happen this week, and uh, some of the staff is here with me. Just want to take a few minutes and just share it with the community so they know they're always welcome to be a part of it. And uh, Pastor Jordan's here. I'm going to let him talk about our uh, Easter egg hunts and our uh, J.J. Weeks concert happening this Wednesday. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, starting with uh, this Wednesday night, we did something a little bit different this year. Um, we were doing an event starting at 7 p.m. out at the church called Light the Night. Uh, it's going to be more of a um, what I call a fair atmosphere type deal. Um, we actually are going to we got food trucks on the ground. We got inflatables. We got game trucks, and we also um, one of the big things we did this year. We're hosting a concert with JJ Weeks. It's an outdoor concert. He's bringing the. Uh, he's a Christian artist. A lot of folks have heard him. Um, he's not too. Doesn't live too far from here, and uh, we've developed a wonderful relationship with him. And he's coming with his whole band and everything. It's going to be a great uh, Christian concert out on the lawn as well. So uh, that'll be happening all at the same time. We'll end the night uh, with a glow in the de- glow in the egg. Um, Easter egg hunt for all the kids, so uh, it's going to be a good night. We've got all kinds of things planned. Um, we've got numerous, about five or five or six food trucks coming out, uh, and uh, it's just going to be a great evening at seven o'clock there at the church. Um, so the only thing we're asking is, uh, if you're coming, hey, bring a lawn chair for the concerts there, or a blanket, whatever you want to sit out on the lawn. It's going to be a great evening. Okay. All right. Who else? Introduce yourself. I'll introduce myself. I'm Ashley Starnes. I'm the youth pastor at Turning Point Worship Center, um, and I'm actually hanging out here with Miss Brittany, who is our children's director. But we have some fun things going on this Friday night. So we have a Good Friday service happening at 7 p.m. And for all of our middle and high school students, we're having an interactive walkthrough of the final hours of Jesus's life. And so um, you'll be able to show up right at seven. You'll kind of walk through some different stations, experience what we're calling the stations of the cross. Uh, and then we'll kind of end together with some some worship and communion. It's going to be kind of a fun time for us. And what night is that? That is uh, this Friday at 7 p.m. OK, at Turning Point. All right. And also this Friday, at, oh, my name is Brittany DeWeese. I am the children's director at Turning Point. And um, for the kids ages um, preschool to fifth grade, we will be doing an interactive escape room called Escape to New Life. Um, just explaining to the children how Jesus died for our sins as they unfold the clues that will unfold the story of his crucifixion. So it just kind of puts it all together in a fun, interactive way. Um, And when they finally escape the room, they'll be able to put their sins on the cross, um, ask for forgiveness. We'll go through it again, recap the story. They'll see the tomb outside of the room, and it'll be closed. And on Easter morning, we'll have it opened up for them. Okay. And what day is that again? That is Friday at 7 p.m. Okay. All that going on Friday. Pastor? That's, uh, that's the, all these events they've been talking about are happening on our Jessup campus, and we also recently uh, launched a, a campus in Brunswick at 139 Dees Drive. Uh, we had a facility that was uh, given to us to use, and we went in and remodeled it. And uh, we're going to be offering our Easter services in Jessup and Brunswick this year uh, for the first time. And so uh, Jessup will be at our 1030 time uh, like we always do on Sundays. But at uh, Brunswick, it'll be at 9 a.m. We're offering a service there. It'll be live worship. Uh, preaching children's ministry and we're super excited 
uh, about uh, that kicking off this Easter Sunday and happening every uh, every Sunday at nine o'clock. And exactly where is that? campus turning point campus in brunswick you see, you mentioned the address but where is that it, if you turn uh i know if most folks know where the old pumpkin patch probably used to be mm-hmm. you turn right there on like you're heading to blythe island right and uh maybe not even a half mile on the road there's a paved road right there to the right called 139 d's drive and you can turn there and the church okay. is right there all right yeah Okay. We're super excited about it. It's amazing how all of us remember that as the pumpkin patch. and haven't yeah. been that for many years, but we still know what it's at. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're excited about it. So, again, you know, Sunday at 9 o'clock in Brunswick. If you know fan, friends or family there, would love for them to be a part of it. And uh, if not, just that we've got a lot of things happening this week. And, you know, again, like always, uh, you can check our church website out, tpwc.church. I know we've mentioned a lot of information. It can be hard to remember all those dates and times, but all that's online. And, uh, so repeat that slowly. Uh, tpwc.church okay. is our, our website where folks can go online and, and uh, uh, check out all the information, the dates, and the times. I'd love for them to be with us. Everybody's okay. welcome. And tell us about your Easter Sunday services. The Sunday services, uh, it'll be uh, pray, there'll be praise and worship. Uh, I'll be preaching Easter message, and I think we've also uh, got our, our kids. Um, they're doing a uh, uh, drama slash dance. They've been working on uh, for several months. I know my daughter; she's a part of it, and uh, they've been working hard on it. And so they'll be uh, doing that, and I think even our students. Uh, you know, everybody really would try to have everybody involved on that Sunday just to kind of, you know, make it a whole uh, family, you know, uh, right. service. So uh, it's going to be a great day. We're excited about it. Okay. All this going on at uh, Turning Point Worship Services. Your exact address here in Jessup? Jessup address is 1810 uh, South Palm Street in, in Jessup. Okay. Just right there at South Palm and, uh, and Sunset. That's right. Yes, sir. Just right from Sunset there. Yes, sir. Okay. So anything else that you want to talk about when it comes this week? Why don't you just kind of recap everything that's going to happen just in case? Awesome, yeah. So uh, Wednesday at 7 o'clock is going to be our Light the Night uh, uh, Easter Egg and J.J. Weeks uh, concert. Uh, Again, it's going to be kind of like a fair atmosphere. Uh, There's going to be food trucks, game trucks. Uh, J.J. Weeks will be there. The only thing we're asking folks to uh, bring is, you know, a chair or, uh, you know, a blanket to have on the lawn there for the concert. And then we'll end the night with a glow-in-the-dark egg hunts uh, for all different ages. And uh, it's going to be real cool for the the kids and the family to enjoy. And then on Good Friday, uh, we have something happening for the entire family. Uh, The adults will be worshiping. In the uh, main auditorium there, uh, we'll have uh, worship and Holy Communion and be preaching just a little bit about the cross and, you know, Jesus' sacrifice that he's done for all of us. And while that's happening for the adults, the students, they're having uh, the Stations of the Cross experience in the Student Center. And then in the uh, Children's Ministry Center, uh, Miss Brittany and her team will be leading an escape room for the kids to really just drive that message home of what Jesus did for us. And then uh, on Easter Sunday, uh, we'll hold services in Jessup and Brunswick, uh, 9 o'clock in Brunswick and 10.30 here in Jessup. And again, it'll involve all ages, all stages of life, and uh, we'll be celebrating the resurrection and just uh, invite everybody to come be a part of it. Uh, okay. Can. Sounds good. Sounds yeah. like a good week. Yeah. Very good week. Awesome. All right. Any, Bob, any more questions or comments? Anything else there, Pastor? Hey, I'm good. I appreciate y'all letting us come hang out for a few minutes and just invite the community to be a part of it. All right. Well, we'll see y'all next time. Hey, thank y'all. Y'all right. take care. Happy Easter to you. All right. We'll be more. We'll have more of the world famous Butch and Bob show in a moment right here on Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO 105.5 FM in Jessup. South Georgia weather. Here's your WIFO forecast. Sunny today, south wind 5 to 10, highs low 80s, and partly cloudy mid 50s for tonight. Sunny mid 80s tomorrow. Wednesday, mostly cloudy, becoming partly sunny, high mid 80s. Thursday, showers likely, chance of thunderstorms, upper 70s. Friday, mostly sunny, 30% chance of showers, light chance of thunderstorms. Georgia Chief Meteorologist John Weatherby in the Georgia 811 Weather Center. Contact 811 before you dig. The life-changing devastation of infertility or the loss of a baby is too hard to walk through alone. The good news is you don't have to anymore. Find the support and community your heart has been craving at the Hope Narrative, a faith-based infertility support conference Saturday, April 30th at Wayne Christian Academy in Jessup. Get details and register online at hopenarrative.org. That's hopenarrative.org. Register online at hopenarrative.org. 105.5 105.5 FM and Jess of Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO. We continue on with the world-famous Butch and Bob show right here on WIFO. And, Bob, did you have a good weekend? 
Pretty good weekend. Pretty good weekend. Windy, well, you, well, windy, you, windy day at the golf course, but it, very it windy day. To, yeah. Cold too. It got quarters the day went on. So. Yeah, it did, didn't it? We had a good time. So were you <clears> plastered <throat> to your couch yesterday watching the Masters? I was plastered to my couch watching the Masters. <laughs> you yesterday. and your couch were one. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good day. Flip back and forth and watch some baseball. So <clears throat> it was it was a good Masters. Roy McElroy had a nice late charge. But yeah, he put on he his too, he was too far back. Six shot of sixty four though. So it was a good event. Was that a, a Masters them. record for uh for, I think for he not, t- I think he 18? tied the back nine or something like that. Okay. <clears throat> but uh, Anyway, he had a good <clears> – <throat> he was just a little bit too far back when he started. Yeah. But it was fun to watch. Beautiful place. Yeah. I mean, it's just you know, gorgeous. They do a good job. CBS does a good job telecasting that event. Yeah, yeah they do. <clears throat> so, um, uh, so once again, the the, uh, the winner of the Masters is? Scotty Scheffler. He was the number one ranked player going in. He's only 25 years of old. Scotty Scheffler, uh, okay. University of Texas graduate. He's okay. a Texas boy. So number one in the world, and now he even solidifies that even more. All right. Now they have the big tournament there at Hilton Head Island this weekend. They're getting ready for that um, heritage the tournament. Heritage. They have, yeah, the heritage uh, begins on uh, Thursday, Thursday there in Hilton Head. And some of those golfers will be there. Some of them won't. It just varies. But that's also a very beautiful area to go to is the heritage there on Hilton Head. And a lot easier to get tickets to that than it is the Masters. So if you're looking to see some good golf and see a, a beautiful course, uh, go to the go to the Heritage. When I lived in South Carolina for those 12 years, I had a chance to go there, right. and uh, it's just a it's a lot more relaxed and laid back, and and uh, just still a beautiful course there on Hilton Head Island. Hilton Head's nice. Yes, it is very nice. Beautiful place. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, so a week, a great weekend for the Masters. Uh, the Braves split this weekend with with the uh, with the Reds, and uh, I think they uh, lost one one lost. And so now they'll be taking on the Nats. The Nationals coming to town tonight. They're in Atlanta at Truist Park. Our coverage will begin at six oh five right here on one hundred five point five FM, and first pitch at um, at seven twenty. So uh, Braves and Nationals. Tonight here on Big Dog Country Radio, and that's um, interleague. I mean, that's um, what do they call it? Division, division game, division play. Yeah, yeah, division play tonight against the Nationals. So tune in all season long to Braves baseball right here on one hundred five point five FM. And congratulations to the Wayne County Varsity baseball team. They needed those two victories up at Veterans, and they pulled it through. Yep, did what they had to do. Had to get those two wins and got right back in this race. So, got right back into it. So this. Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday will be fun against Ware County. Starts tomorrow night over in Waycross. All right, Ware County tomorrow in Waycross for a region play. And uh, is it a 6 o'clock first pitch? 6 o'clock first, first pitch. First pitch there yeah. in Waycross. So wear your gold and white and black and gold. Get down there to Waycross and support the Jackets. But if you can't make it, we'll have the game for you right here on 105.5 FM and around the world on our website at BigDogCountry.com. Just click on Live Stream, just like our morning show. You can listen to it on our website at BigDogCountry.com and click on Live Stream. So no matter where you are in the world, you can keep up with the world-famous Butcher Bob Show and, of course, the whole morning show from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. All right, any other sports that went over the weekend that uh, you you liked? That's about it. I was glued to the Masters. I said, watched a little bit. My Pirates finally won a game yesterday. I got to see that. So. Well, that's just <clears> good. I'm glad to see that's that. Right, Bob. That's great. <laughs> hey, they're, they're one and two. They're only one game out. <clears throat> you got to keep hope alive as long as I can. And it's just amazing. You th- you would think that you know the her- the history they have, they would do a better job of putting winning teams together. But uh, for some reason, the last many years, Winning, uh, winning the division or winning the championship has not been seems their top priority, does it? Well, they're breaking a trend though. They're signing their star player to an eight-year deal, so maybe they'll start signing these guys and keeping them because you know they've got a beautiful ballpark. They just need some players. So. Well, they get the players like you mentioned, and then they just um, they send them on the way, they're, set they're, them packing, get some money for them, and. Like I said, they're breaking that trend. They're signing their third baseman, Cabron Hayes, to an eight-year deal. So hopefully he'll be there for quite some time. So that's breaking tradition. Normally they let him go to other teams, but they're signing this kid to an eight-year deal. So $50 million. So hopefully he'll stay there for a while. $50 million. Huh? Fifty. I think it's 52. 
Okay. Don't want to slight him, but I think it's eight-year, fifty-two million dollar deal. So good to see him. Sad story for Pittsburgh. This yeah, I'll fix Dwayne that. Haskins passed in a in a not sure what happened. He got hit by a dump truck down in Florida on a Friday, I believe it was. News broke Saturday morning, so just a sad story. So get out of Ohio State, was talented he the quarterback. Back up? What was no, it? he was going to compete for the job. He, he was, wasn't, you know, he he was in that mix for the starting. You know, Pittsburgh's quarterback position is wide open. So he and Mason Rudolph and Mich- Mitchell Trubisky were going to compete for the job, but Dwayne Haskins passed away sadly over the weekend at the age of twenty-five. Sad story. So he just got hit by a dump truck, huh? Yeah. I just they don't not sure what happened. Sure, no, I'm not, sure, not sure what the situation is. Okay. It's just very sad when I saw that. Sad. I, yeah. I just very sad. Just wonder what you know, what happened there. I'm sure the details will come out sooner or later. Uh, said he was trying to cross the highway, but they don't know why, so Yeah. Oh well. <clears throat> Sad story. Yeah, it is. Any uh, any other NFL football coming up? They got the drafts coming up. Drafts listening two weeks away or three weeks away. Oh, right. so, so coming up soon, huh? So looking yeah. forward to the NFL draft. Okay. And they got that new league kicking off too. The USFL. Yeah, the Not USFL sure kicking off soon. You picked your favorite team you have on? Going Tampa Bay, Birmingham, whatever. I could care less. <laughs> I'm not, I won't be watching much USFL football. Oh. <laughs> mm. So your your slogan is the football is just more, not football. It's got to be NFL them. or college. I'm ready for the Georgia spring game. I think the Georgia spring game is this weekend. Yeah, it's coming up real Athens, soon. So. Yeah. Yeah, keep trying them, to fill the stadium up there for that. Uh, they'll have it packed. I'm sure it'll be packed. Yeah, you think it would be being national champs. Yeah. It'll be packed. Yeah. yeah be a national champs. They should be packed up there and people excited about another good season. Baseball team having a good year. Georgia? Georgia. Georgia's baseball team having a good see- season? Yep. Well, that's good. Hopefully they don't make the College World Series. It'll be fun. Something I want to do one time, <clears throat> go to the College World Series out there in Omaha. It always looks like a fun place. They always have it there, yeah. have it there each year, don't they? Right yeah, there in Omaha, don't they? Yeah. It doesn't rotate around. For some reason, it's always right there in Omaha. Yeah. A lot of Wayne Counties have gone up there and watched it. So it's a lot oh, of fun. have they? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I guess that's on people's buckets list. Say, I want to go watch the games, and they do up there in Omaha. College World Series. All right, and any news items going on this week that you're going to be looking at? Not much going on. School board meets tomorrow, but that's just a work session. So. All right, school board meets tomorrow. <clears throat> but looking forward to interviewing Tina Mosley on Thursday, like I said. These, these elections are right around the corner. May 24th is going to be here before you know it. I so. know. Just a little over a month away before all this primary yeah, we're comes We're trying up. to get all these candidates in. We've had a couple in. We've had Corbett Nichols in. We've had Tim Hopkins in. Still trying to line up everybody. So hopefully we'll get everybody in between now and the primary on the 24th. Yeah, and so. everyone who runs for, for, for office, that you know, folks here in Wayne County can, can vote on, they're welcome to come on the Butch and Bob Show. All right. so give us a buzz. Lining them up. Okay. Dale Keith will be here Wednesday to talk about the IDA Industrial Park and how all that grant money helped out. So looking forward to him being here on Wednesday. Okay. So uh, Dale Keith here on Wednesday talk about the IDA. He got the park out there and other things going on with the Industrial Authority. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how things went with the um, with the uh, retreat to the city of Jessup had down. Uh, see what Ralph's on the board for tomorrow. Ralph Hickox. Yeah, yeah, Man. yeah. What's he coming in and talk about? The retreat? Or? I guess. I can't remember. He's got to be that. Ralph Hickox is on the on the board for tomorrow? Yeah, I guess he's coming in and talk about that. That's what I saw. Yeah, yeah, he's in there to talk about that. and He wants to clarify things. That, oh, yeah, he wants to clarify things that uh, went on in the meeting the other night, you know, and things that will get done that people think might not get done. And uh, so he just wants to – to kind of um, clarify everything that's going on with the city of Jessup and, and what's happening. How can he clarify a 3-2 vote against? I don't know, Bob. <laughs> I'm just telling you what he said. He wants to clarify everything, you know, and uh, and tell everyone, you know, the good things are going on with Jessup and Wayne County and or with Jessup, the city of Jessup, and, and so forth. So Ralph will be here tomorrow to talk about that. That ought to be interesting. Look forward to that. Yeah, yeah. Ralph's going to be here to talk about the good things that are happening here in <clears throat> in 
in Jessup. And, of course, he'll give us a kind of a, uh, an update on uh, – not an update, but give us uh, – tell us the details of what happened with the, um, with the retreat this past weekend. So it's a good, a good timely interview with Ralph tomorrow. Yeah, he called him. I remember now. He called and requested that time to be on there. To says, I want to talk about, I want to clarify things, and I want to talk about the good things that are going on in the city of Jessup. I said, okay, come on in. It's good to have you on here, especially after that meeting the other night and especially after their retreat that they had this weekend. Just perfect timing for him to be on the Butch and Bob show. So the mayor of Jessup on the show tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Okay. Can, you, can you bring Stanley Todd with him to clarify the ugly city comment? That's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> That's all I heard over the weekend. That's all you heard? That's all I heard. <laughs> Where does that leave us with an ugly city? That's what Stanley said, yeah. That's what Stanley said. Yeah. Well, someone told Ralph that said uh, <clears throat> that was him saying that. Someone you know listened to the show and then for some reason or heard somebody who heard the show, which happens a lot. Well, did you hear that Ralph said that we had? No, it wasn't. I said, no, no, Ralph, it wasn't you. Uh, we didn't you know, We didn't say it was you. We said it was Stanley. Todd, who mentioned that at the end of the, uh, the toward the end of that conversation about the park and everything, we played and, it on tape. We had on tape. Yeah, and so you know, he said, "Well, okay, okay." He says, "Yeah, that's that's the way it was." I said, "Well, somebody who heard it only heard you say that." Uh, uh, Ask the question, "Where does that leave us?" And then that Stanley Todd said, "Well, with an ugly city." Right. So you know, sometimes people hear what they want to hear. Of course. And, and so they were telling folks that it was Ralph that said that, and it wasn't <laughs> Ralph that said that. It was Stanley Todd who said where did, you know, that leads so us that's to what he's coming, So that's where he's coming to clarify. Well, that's one thing. But, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but mainly thing, he wants to talk about the good things going on in the city of Jessup, he says. That's the main thing he wants to talk about. And, of course, we can also give him, uh, you got to have some questions on how things went with the retreat this past weekend, what they discussed, what they planned. Uh, he mentioned that all those projects are going to go forward. Uh, when I was on the phone with them, every one of them's going to go forward. It's just a matter of working out the details. So don't think any of them's not going to happen, he says. They are going to happen. It's just a matter of working out the details. And I said, okay. So it'll be good to have the mayor of Jessup on the World Famous Butch and Bob Show tomorrow morning. That'll be fun. It'll be fun? You yeah. looking forward to it, Bob? Yeah, I got all kinds of questions. <laughs> yeah, so it'll be interesting to have him on tomorrow morning. All right, what else is going on, Bob? Anything? Just excited about the baseball team. Like I said the uh, soccer teams are headed to state playoff action this weekend. The girls go to Woodward Academy Wednesday. Haven't got the boys' details. I know the girls lost Friday. They had senior night Friday, but had, for some reason we're not getting the boys' scores. So on the soccer? Yeah, on the soccer. Okay. We're not getting the boys. We're getting the, we're getting the girls' soccer scores, but not the boys. Not the boys. So call them in, coaches, or text them in, or smoke signals, or whatever you have to do it to Bob. The golf team's in action today. Tennis teams are at Warner Robins today for that region tournament. They all go to one place and play for seating today. So oh, do they? The tennis, the tennis teams, teams are, at Warner Robins Warner today? It's a long trip. So wow. We got that trip next week in baseball. So. Okay. I wonder if they've done any improvements on their baseball field since last year. Because there was a dump last year. At Warner Robins? Yeah. Yeah, you talked about yeah. how bad that was. You <clears> know, you sit that there, dump of a baseball you sit there field. And look at that gorgeous football stadium. The Taj Mahal football stadium. We uh, broadcasted out of that this year, and then you look at that dump. And they, got a, they got a baseball field stuck in a field over there. Somewhere. It's, just a, it's just a field, <laughs> <laughs> weeds. <laughs> it's just sad. Uh, but apparently, their team's better than it was last year. So maybe they've done some improvements on the field as well. So mm -hmm. we'll find out. Maybe next they week. like playing in weeds. I don't know. It was just a sad situation. It's sad. It was sad. <laughs> That's pretty bad. It's all about priorities, I guess. I know. You look at that Taj Mahal <clears throat> football stadium over there because Warner Robins has won several state championships through the year, and you got a baseball field there that looks like, you know, three backs put out in the field, four backs put out in the field. Some people don't make any bones about it, what their priorities are. I'm going to go into Camden years ago and ask him. Luther Welsh about his crazy baseball coach. He looks at me down and I say, Bob, we don't care about baseball in Camden County. All we care about is football. I said, okay, okay I understand. At least it's good to know. Yeah, yeah. Um, at least he's being honest about it. That's what he's honest about. Yeah, he's honest about it. Football is it. Yeah. That's all they care about. Yeah, we try to make it equal opportunity <laughs> sports here in Wayne County, making all of them important. And you said the golf team's in action today? Yeah, Where at? They're in Douglas today, one thirty. 
one and thirty. They're at home tomorrow, taking on Camden. So, so they're just playing. They're, they're just playing uh, Coffee County tomorrow. They're playing in Douglas today with a bunch of teams. Tomorrow they teams. host Camden County here. At just home. Camden here next yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow, but a bunch of teams <clears throat> over in Douglas today. I oh, wish the golf team the best. Having a heck of a year. Very talented team for sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Anything else going on? Is that about it? Not that I know. Okay. I'll get my questions lined up for the mayor tomorrow. Okay. Get your <clears throat> questions lined up. It'll be an interesting uh, interview with uh, the mayor tomorrow. So I'm glad to know he's just coming in because somebody thought he said it. <laughs> no, no, he's not coming in just because of that. He's coming <laughs> in because he wants to talk about what's good going on in Wayne County. He just happened to me. That's the, what, that wasn't the first thing that he mentioned. And uh, he just says, I want to come on the show to talk. Because, you know, a lot of times, you know, rumors get around that things are blah, 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 they're bad, they're this, they're that. And he wants to talk about the good things going on in the city of Jessup. And uh, then, of course, answer questions about uh, uh, the retreat and things of that sort. All right, Bob, you have a good day. Okay. All right, the world-famous Butch and Bob show right here on WIFO, brought to you by First Southern Bank, by Damon's Famous Fingers and Wings, Murphy Builder Supply, and by O'Quinn & Associates Country Financial.